Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a masonry gallery for your blogger website. So this is how it's gonna look. We can see that we have these images over here and when we hover over this, there is a zoom effect over here. And on some of the images, I also added a title. So when you hover over this, we can see that we have this title displayed over here. In the same way, we can have title for all these images over here. And when you click on any of these images, it will be displayed in a light box. And then you can go ahead and go to the next or the previous images. And then you can click on this close button to close this light box. So this is what we're going to create for our blogger website. And uh, first of all, we are going to design everything using HTML and CSS. And then I will show you how to add this to your blogger website. So let's get started. Now the first thing you have to do is get all the images ready. So I have downloaded all these images from this website called pexels.com and you can go over here and search for anything you want and uh, you will get free images for your website. Just go ahead and download the images you want or you can just go ahead and create your own images. And once you download the images, make sure that you compress it. So you can use any image editing software to compress the images to a smaller size for the website. Or you can even use an online image compressor tool. You can just Google for image compressor and you can compress all the images online for free. So the first thing you have to do is download the images or create the images you want. And then you have to compress all the images. And if you want to have better performance, you can create one more version for the thumbnails. So you can create an even more smaller version for all of these thumbnails. And when you click on any of these thumbnails, this image will be a different version of the image. So in this way, you can increase the performance of your web page. But for now, I'm just using a single image for the thumbnail and the actual image. Right, so let's go ahead and start designing this. So I have created this project called Mason Gallery and I just opened it with Visual Studio Code. And here I have folder called images and in that we have all these images which we are going to use for our gallery. Now let's go ahead and create the files that we need. So first of all we need an index.html file. So let's click on this new file button and we'll create index.html file. And we also need a CSS file. So let's create a new file style.css. Let's start with the index.html file. So in VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab and you will get this basic HTML5 code. Let's also link our style.css file. So I'll just type link and uh, href of style.css. First of all, we'll create a division with a class of gallery container. And in that we'll have all the other elements. So for each of the images, we're going to have a division with a class of image. So let's type image. And in the images, so we're going to have an anchor tag. And in the anchor tag, we're going to have an image. So let's create an anchor tag. And for the href, you have to give the link of the image. So let's type images. And we have all the images named from 1 through 11. So let's select the first image. And in the anchor tag, we will have the img tag. So I'll just type img. And in the src, we'll just type images 1.jpg. And we'll also have a title. So we'll have a division with the class of title. And we'll just type title number one for this first title. And now let's copy this image division from here and we'll paste it 10 more times. And let's change the link of all the images over here. So let's type image 2.jpg. And uh, for title, we have title two. And then we have image three. So I'll just change all of these. All right, so I have linked all the images to our anchor tag and the image tag. So let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed on VS Code. So I'll just right click over here and click on open with live server. And here we can see all the images are being displayed over here. The first image, the second image and all these images over here. But the size of all these images are too big. So let's go ahead and style this. We'll go to our style.css file and first of all, let's target this gallery container. So let's type gallery container and we'll set a width of 700 pixels and then we'll add a property called column count and we'll set it to three. Now we can see that there are three columns over here. 
Now we need to change the size of all these images. So let's go over here to gallery container dot image img and we'll set the size to 100%. And now we can see that all the images have the correct size that we need. And now let's bring it to the center. So here I'll just type margin and for top and bottom I'll just have a margin of 24 pixels and for left and right I'll just type auto. Alright so now we have all these images over here and if we click on any of these images we can see that we are taken to the full image over here. Let's go back. Now let's style these titles. So let's go over here and we will have the position of the title relative to the image division. So here we'll just type position relative. And now let's style the title. So gallery container dot image dot title. And let's set the position to absolute. And let's set the bottom position to zero and left to zero and right to zero. And the title is displayed at the bottom left corner of the screen. So let's go back and see what's the issue. So here we can see we have added the position relative to the image, not the image division. So let's delete this from here because we want to add it to this uh, division with the class of image. So let's go over here and uh, let's type gallery container dot image position relative. Now we can see that the title is uh, positioned correctly. Now let's add some more styles. So let's set a padding of 16 pixels and uh, let's set a background color of dark gray and uh, the color of the text to white. And let's set the font family to Roboto and uh, font weight to bold. Now we don't want to display this by default. We want to hide it at the beginning. So first of all, let's set the bottom position to negative 60 pixels. And uh, let's set the opacity to zero. And when we hover over the image, we want to display this title. So let's type gallery container dot image and here we'll type colon hover. So when you hover over the image, we want to have these styles for the title. So here I'll just type opacity of one and bottom position to zero. And we'll also add a transition for smooth animation. Right. So let's go ahead and uh, hover over these. And we can see that the title is being displayed over here. Now here you can see we have a lot of inconsistent spacing. So here we have a lot of spacing but uh, here below these images we don't have any spacing. So let's solve that. All right. So let's go over here to gallery container and here we will set a column gap. So I'll set the column gap to 8 pixels and we will set a margin bottom for the image. So let's type margin bottom of 8 pixels. Now we still have a little bit of more spacing at the bottom of these images. So let's go ahead and add a background color over here to this image division. And let's see. And here we can see that uh, the image has not extended to the whole division. We have a little bit of red color over here at the bottom of these images. So for that you have to add a property in the image tag. And it is called vertical align. And we have to set it to middle. Now we can see that we don't have any problems and we have even spacing between these images. So let's remove the background color. Now here we can see that our title is being displayed from outside the image as well. Now we don't want to display anything outside the image. So here we will just add a property called overflow hidden. Now anything outside this image division won't be displayed. Now you can see that everything works perfectly. Now the next thing we need to do is when you hover over these images, we want to have a zoom effect for the images. So let's go ahead and type gallery container image colon hover. And for the IMG tag, we will have transform scale of 1.2. And we'll also have transition of all to 400 milliseconds for smooth animation. Now let's hover over this. And we can see that we have the zoom effect and also the title being displayed over here. All right, now the last thing we need to do is add a light box. So right now the light box is the default one in the browser. So if we click on this image, we can see that we are taken to the full image. 
but it doesn't look that good. So let's add a Lightbox library to our uh, gallery. Now we're going to use this library called Lightbox2. So this library right here, we can see that this is how the Lightbox looks. And if we take a look at the license, we can see that it is 100% free to use both in commercial and non-commercial work. So let's find the CDN of uh, this library. So just Google for CDN.js Lightbox2 and you'll get this link of cdnjs.com. Let's click on that and let's copy the JavaScript and the CSS from here. So I'll just click on this uh, button, copy script tag and uh, we'll paste it over here inside the HTML in the head section and we'll also paste the CSS. So I'll just copy this Lightbox min CSS and paste it over here. We also need to have jQuery for this library to work. So let's search for jQuery. And we'll copy this jQuery min JS from here. And paste that over here. Right now the only thing we need to do is add a data attribute to all these uh, images where we need to have the light box. So let's go over here to light box to home page. And uh, if we scroll down, we can see for image sets, we need to have a data lightbox uh, attribute and we need to have some value over here. So if you want to have all of these images in the same gallery, then we can have same name over here. So let's add data lightbox to all the anchor tags in our design. So let's type data dash lightbox equals and we'll just name it gallery. I'll just copy this and paste it everywhere else. So I'll just paste it over here and in all the anchor tags. All right, we have added the data light box attribute. Now let's go back to our design and see whether it works. So this is our design. Let's click on any of these images and we can see that the light box is being displayed. Let's click on the next button and we can see the next image is being displayed. So everything is working all right. Even the previous button is working. And we can close the light box by just clicking on this close button or just clicking somewhere outside the light box. So that's basically how you design a masonry gallery for your blogger website. Now I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website in the next video. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.